to do they hide it they lie and they blame the victim yep because the victim cannot speak for themselves yep 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 see, this is so what true. i've been see it doing all the time yes so that'd be all very all true time. it's extreme right all, all the time. time i mean they kill and you live in jersey every time you turn around you see a new jersey transit killing somebody coach usa killing somebody and what they do they cover sleep it up, the cover it up. Mm -hmm. covered up. yes covered up and exactly. luckily they what they do they want you to sign a gag order and exchange the money but i said see money is not going to bring my child back what i'm trying i'm doing if again i did a piano was with me we did a political photo shoot the naila cluster had a naila political photo shoot statement what is it is a campaign i raise awareness and um i'm trying to get on the news so it go go worldwide because people need to know i have all the evidence i have the videotape with the prosecutor and a lot of lawyers and the police officer and transit lawyer told me i said oh don't worry about that you could have done that would have prevented this. Because see, I see somebody running on the bus. Even I, you know what, why don't you wait until Michael yeah, let's, let's the, let's, the, let, uh, let's, let the detective give you your, 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 your point of view. He's gonna ask you some questions about what happened. Dude. Okay. And if you need, if you know, are you gonna do like a, a big interview today? or No, uh, we're gonna do this sometimes, interview. Because this sometimes I come in a, like a week later or so and see Vince and you know, if he wants to get it. This is gonna be pretty short. was doing yep I've already taken statements from the people on the bus everybody's consistent so he has nothing to worry about gotcha. okay you want to see him also yes I do. this time I want you to he just says there's a lot of different coach go over the detectives yeah, no, that's uh, community coach community coach community coach go over with community Sam community Sam 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 Sam. Sam. Yeah, you see other coach yeah. buses, but this is this is specifically Community coach, right? Yeah, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Brian is what we say. And how long have you been with that company? In uh, what type of thing? 1998. Then, um, you started I there in 1998. 1998. 1998. 1998. Okay. Um, and as you said before, this is never. Never. No. Okay. No. Distracted drivers cause over 400,000 serious accidents a year in the United States. Drivers taking their eyes off the road or their hands off the wheel are the two biggest causes. Yeah, and that is exactly what our cameras caught New Jersey Transit bus drivers doing time and time again, putting passengers' lives at risk. The iTunes Jonathan Vigliotti has the exclusive story. Counting tickets, eyes off the road for seconds at a time. They drive hundreds of people by the busload each and every day. Arriving safely at their destination, their number one priority. But cell phone video captures a much different snapshot of life behind the wheel. New Jersey Transit bus drivers very much distracted and questionably in control of the vehicles they operate. You're putting people lives at risk. And make me fearful with all the people on the bus. This video, shot by one of our producers, shows one driver so distracted while counting tickets, his bus crosses the yellow line into oncoming traffic. Another driver looks down for seconds at a time while driving through a very crowded Lincoln Tunnel. Driving requires 100% of your faculties. It's a huge concern, says Robert Sinclair Jr. with the AAA, because it only takes a few seconds to cause a major accident. Especially at highway speeds. At 60 miles an hour, you're going 88 feet per second. You know, two, three seconds, you've covered the distance of a football field. If your eyes are off the road for that distance, for that time, a lot of bad things can happen. Over the course of one month, the I-Team found six separate drivers taking their eyes off the road and their hands off the wheel for seconds at a time. In each case, focused on counting tickets, a task drivers are supposed to do at the end of their shift. Dashcam video of a texting bus driver in Texas shows just how dangerous a few distracted seconds can be. We don't condone anybody driving unsafe. We, we in 
instruct all of our operators to operate safely and the most efficient manner possible. Ray Greaves is with the Amalgamated Transit Union, the agency that represents New Jersey transit drivers. He says while there are cases of distracted drivers, they are far and few between. The New Jersey transit bus operators are probably some of the best trained operators in the business. Uh, we have a very strong safety culture. But documents obtained by the I-Team through the Open Public Records Act show distracted driving is on the rise. In 2013, passengers filed 124 complaints against drivers. In 2014, 156 complaints were filed, a 25% increase. Among the complaints, the I-Team found this one from March 6th of last year. Quote, I looked over at the driver. He was Skyping and using video message. New Jersey Transit officials would not disclose what kind of action was taken in each case. Officials also declined multiple requests to go on camera. In a statement, they said, quote, safety is a top priority at New Jersey Transit. Our employees are regularly instructed on our rules against driving while distracted. Incidents of this type are thoroughly investigated and result in swift and appropriate disciplinary actions, including suspension and termination. Passengers say New Jersey Transit should... Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm your host, Bill Spadia. Tonight we've got another story, this one about NJ Transit. An explosive hearing in Trenton last week. Former member calling the agency completely incompetent and fraught with all kinds of corruption and patronage. For more on this, Alex Zidane. NJ Transit has turned into a runaway train. That's according to the agency's own former compliance officer, who testified in front of the New Jersey State Legislature on Friday. Although my tenure was extremely short in terms of time, I witnessed more occurrences of agency-wide mismanagement fueled by ignorance, arrogance, hypocrisy, incompetence, patronage, cover-up, and corruption than one can reasonably expect to experience throughout an entire career. Todd Beretta was hired in April to help the agency comply with federal rules, regulations, and guidelines, but was ultimately fired in August for what he says was repeatedly raising safety concerns with top NJ Transit management. Beretta told the Legislative Committee hearing on Friday that he was told to tone down criticism in his reports and even not to put certain things in writing as part of what he says is large-scale problems at the agency. Assemblyman Michael Patrick Carroll sits on the committee that heard Beretta's testimony, and I talked to him on Monday to get his reaction to all this. New Jersey Transit isn't taking the, the, uh, the problem seriously. Because someone, if these allegations are true, should have been fired. Some, a lot of someone should have been fired. Also at the hearing, reports of a slew of lawsuits for racial and sexual discrimination against and by NJ Transit employees that go back as long as two decades. Now, Beretta told legislators that in addition to the delays, crashes, and
Thank you. 